Now, it was nearly one year ago on November 30th, 2021, when a 15 year old boy walked into Oxford High School with a nine millimeter handgun and fatally shot four students and injured seven others. Many people in Oxford Township still struggle with the tragedy. Our AJ Walker has the story. In the final school board meeting before the one year anniversary of the tragic Oxford shooting, emotions ran high. All we have as a memorial for the, is where the students died. Is that where students are supposed to mourn? The people who lost their lives deserve more than that. They deserve to be more than where they took their last breaths. They deserve more than a bathroom and they deserve more than just a hallway. They deserve more than anything you've ever given them and it's not fair and it will never be fair that you've given us nothing. While the one year anniversary brings back horrible memories for Melissa Williams, who was there that day, it also brings back memories of self-sacrifice and bravery. And I was there that day. And I, I just wanted to say thank you to a few people. I wanted to say thank you to Steve Wolf, who locked me in my office and, you said, and said, do not come back out. I want to thank you for that. While I was on the phone with 911, I want to say thank you to Mark Suckley, who locked all the exterior doors so that I'm safe. I want to say thank you to Pam Fine, who ran in and out of the building screaming for help. It, and Mr. Weaver, who did the same thing. Later in the meeting, it was announced that Superintendent Ken Weaver had resigned, citing health reasons, and the toll the shooting had also taken on him. Although pain and trauma are still palpable in Oxford, so is the spirit of resilience. And Oxford schools will be closed on November 30th for a day of remembrance. Reporting from Oxford, I'm AJ Walker, Detroit Now News. AJ.